Sydney's fifth Salish Sea Lantern Festival happens August 24th, and the community is hosting a number of lantern-making workshops so you can be part of this annual event. Veronica Cooper explains. So it's just going to be kind of held behind here like this. This octopus is one of hundreds of imaginative creations. So we've got eight tentacles that have been made with repurposed um, bubble wrap. For the fifth annual Salish Sea Lantern Festival. There are lantern festivals all over the world, and they're always successful in bringing just lots of people together, right? Just to enjoy a night of uh, creativity and light and artistic expression. It was five years ago that artist Jennifer Fifleet approached Artsy about bringing a lantern festival to Sydney. Well, Artsy is an organization that supports all artists on the Sandwich Peninsula. Recently, they just did the studio tours which was the opportunity to go around and visit all the artists in their homes. We also have a gallery situated on the waterfront in Sydney and artists can rent that actually for a week and show their art. The first year I just approached Artsy and I said I really want to do this, this festival and um, it started off with just one large salmon lantern that I built and a bunch of smaller balloon lanterns that were like salmon eggs and we had maybe 100 participants. Last year, I think it was our fourth annual, so that was almost 1,000 people. The Salish Sea Lantern Festival is Saturday, August 24th, and Artsy is inviting the public to be part of this magical night. <laughs> the lanterns are all made uh, at workshops. It's a great opportunity for the community to come together. And you um, blow up a balloon, and then you put um, glue, and then um, white tissue paper, and then you can add whatever um, color of tissue paper you want on it and make it look like an ocean. We have a great space at the St. Andrew's Anglican Church who's um, donated a space for us to work out. So every Tuesdays and Thursdays in August, it's, I have an open studio, so between 1 and 5, I'll be there building and repairing lanterns. And then we also have some other um, work family workshops that people can come and build their own lantern to take away and then bring back to the festival if they can. They held a workshop at my father's care home at Sydney All Care and we made this special little lantern together and then sadly he's passed away right after but I'll be in the procession with the lantern I made with my father. I think it's moving. I, I, I think when I saw that procession coming up towards the pier I was quite moved by it. It was very quiet and there was drumming and some singing and I, was, and, I, and I got goosebumps and I was like, wow, this is really neat. So I think people should come out and see it. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.